We can find an equivalent fraction for these fractions by finding a multiplying or dividing factor. So in this case here, what I can do is I can take this 8 and I can find a multiplying factor. In this case, I'm going to use a times 2. So using a times 2 multiplying factor. In the denominator, I'm going to get 16. And using that same times 2 multiplier in the numerator, I'm going to get 14. So 7 over 8 is equivalent to 14 over 16. I can do the same thing in the next one, but in this case, I'm going to find a common divisor. Now, in this case, I can divide by 2, or I can divide by 4. So I'm just going to make it into the lowest common denominator by dividing the top and bottom by 4. Find that common multiplier divisor. I can simplify that to 1 over 4. So 4 over 16 is equivalent to 1 over 4. So I'll do the same for these next ones. In this case here, I'm going to use a common multiplier. I'll use a times 2 and a times 2. It doesn't have to be times 2 because 2 is arbitrary. It could be multiplying by any factor. So multiplying by times 2, I'm going to get 4x. I double the numerator and I double the denominator. That will give me the equivalent fraction. So here I'm going to ch arbitrarily choose a times by 3. Now it, it could be times by 2, but in this case I'm just going to use the times by 3 arbitrarily. And times by 3, I get 9a in the numerator. In the denominator, I get 24b. So 3a over 8b is equivalent to 9a over 24b. For adding and subtracting, we want to find a common denominator. To find a common denominator, we want to do the same thing similarly as above, but we need to show the times factor slightly differently. And to get an equivalent fraction with the same denominator, I look at the factors. So in this case here, there's the denominator of 4 is missing a factor of times 3. And we could, as long as we do the top and bottom by that same multiplier, just like we did above, then we can find a 1 over 4 fraction that is equivalent to, that has a common denominator, and is equivalent to 1 over 4 by multiplying top and bottom by 3 and 3. So once we have a common denominator, we have the same size fractions. The numerator counts the number of pieces. So we end up with 8 1 12th fractions. Okay, now this can be simplified. We can divide the top by 4, divide the top bottom by 4, and that gives me an equivalent fraction of 2 over 3. Okay, this can also be done using factors. So 8 over 12 can be shown as 4 times 2. It can be shown on the bottom as 4 times 3. And then we can show that the common factors of 4 and 4 cancel out. And that leaves us with a com the, the equivalent fraction of 2 thirds in simplest form. In B, we have we have to identify the com lowest common denominator. In this case, the lowest common denominator is going to be 12. So to find that, I look in the denominator of the first fraction. It is missing a times 4 to get the 12 in the denominator. And I just make sure I do the top and bottom by the times 4. For the second fraction, I'm missing a times by 3 to get the 12 in the denominator. And I have to balance the fraction the times 3 on top. So we have 2 thirds is the same as 8 over 12. 3 fourths is the same as 9 over 12. We have two fractions, equivalent fractions with common denominators. We can then just add the numerators together and we get 17 over 12. For this one here, we're subtracting, but we're, again, we're going to do the same thing. 
In this case here, I want to find the lowest common denominator and it's sometimes easier to find if I list out the factors. So I have 2 times 7 and here I have 5 times 7. Now I still do the same process. I need to look in the denominators and see what factors are missing to get the lowest common denominator. So for the left-hand fraction, it's missing a times 5. The fraction on the right has a times 5. The fraction on the left is missing a times 5. So that's going to give us times 5 on top, times 5 on bottom. And that's going to give us the fraction of 10 over, in this case, over 70. And that 70 then represents the lowest common denominator. So we can do the same thing on the right-hand fraction. If I take a look at the factors involved in the denominator, the right-hand fraction is missing a times by 2. That's going to give me the 70 in the denominator that I want. And then to make an equivalent fraction, I need to times the top by 2. I end up with 10 over 70 <coughs> minus 6 over 70, and that gives us 4 over 70 as a solution. Now this can be simplified, so I'm going to divide the top and bottom by 2, and that gives me the final answer of 2 over 35 as a simplified form of that answer.